Hi all, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to mark up a PDF using a free application that's already on your Mac called Preview. And this application will allow you to make markups, but unless you have the open tool palette you won't be able to see how to do this. So the goal will be that we're going to try to do like a, a little circle with a, a, a grade in here and maybe a couple of check marks and we're going to see how we can do that. So here's some examples of what you would normally put in an exam paper for markups. Um, however, you could use it for other things as well. So first thing is there's this tool palette uh, that you need to have come up. A lot of times in preview that is not there by default. But I found if you go to tools and you go to annotate and you go to signature and you go to manage signatures automatically the palette will appear so if uh, you've been looking for that palette and didn't know how to get it to come up uh, that's a quick way to do it then what you can do is click on this pen tool over here and as you can see it's uh, blue when it's activated this is the color that we're going to use and we're going to just draw a circle as we would and depending on it as you can see you can pick uh, the one that you want to do and then you can draw an A just as you would any any marker right and you can do an A plus just like we had on that item you do sometimes have to move the pen around as you can see to get it right uh, then you can check mark this here do a check mark here do a check mark here and you can even do a circle here for the right answer and you can actually, after you do this, move them if you need to. And let's say you want to start from scratch after you've done these markups and you say, oh, I don't like the way this looks. This is the first time I did it. Uh, you can do um, undo on these several times. So if you do undo change, you'll notice that it's under Command Z. So on your keyboard, if you hold Command Z and you keep doing it several times, each time I click, I lose that data. So we can try that again. I'm in the pen tool here. I'm going to highlight it in blue. This is where you can change the colors, but I'm going to leave it to be red. I'm going to draw a circle. And I get an option. Do I want a perfect circle or do I want my original one? I'm going to pick my original one. I'm going to draw an A. And I'm going to do a plus. And then I'm going to do a check mark for each of these items. As you can see, just clicking and kind of drawing with my finger on my trackpad, I'm going to do a circle around this. And as you can see, it's not perfect, so I'm going to use my hand tool to move it down. And when I'm done, I can file, save as, or export it again to a PDF, as you can see here, uh, to make sure that um, I have these exam papers graded and here I'm doing it on a PDF or JPEG right on my computer and I'll be able to save it, print it, and give it back to the student if I need to. So I thought this was a pretty cool little feature. Just remember to get this tool palette to come up, you have to go to Tools, uh, Annotate, and select Signature. There might be another way to get to it, but this way was the quickest way I found how to do it. So hope that helps and enjoy.